we don't have to exclusively get books from the Apple Bookstore. If you have ebooks in the EPUB, iBooks, or PDF formats, they can be added and saved to your Apple Books library. I'm going to start by sharing a book that's in the EPUB format here on my Mac to my iPhone via AirDrop. and it automatically gets imported and adds the book to my library. Notice above that the book is also going to sync to iCloud. So after a bit, it will be available on my iPad as well. We can also add PDFs to our books library. This time we're going to go into the Files app here on the iPad. There are two PDFs here, both are user manuals. Tap and they open and can be viewed right here in the Files app. If I share the PDF, there's an option to open in books. It can be better to view a PDF in the Books app because we're able to add bookmarks and notes. We can also view all the pages as a grid of thumbnails. But when I exit this PDF, it doesn't remain in the library. If you want to keep the PDF in the books library, after opening it in books, you need to then tap the share button and copy two books. That saves the PDF into my library. I'm going to do that with both of these PDFs. Notice that I also have an EPUB book here in Files. EPUB files get the books icon applied to their thumbnail. But for some reason, I'm not able to add EPUB files from the Files app into books, even if I attempt this with the Share menu. I'm pretty sure that this is a glitch that will hopefully be worked out in a software update. As of now, AirDrop seems the best way to send EPUB files to iOS devices. I also haven't found a way to easily move audiobook files into the Books app on iOS. That is possible to do in the Books app for Mac, which we'll go over in the next section of this tutorial. 